$3,000 worth of Pais Chef French delicacies. Oh, wait, wait. For these Americans to try and rate, do you think they'll love them or hate them? I'm gonna love it. Ooh. Headphones up. The history of winemaking in this stunning region wine? dates back oh. over 2,500 years. <gasps> We're starting years. with wine? Greeks first Champagne France? Marseille <gasps> and planted vines throughout southern France. Once the Romans arrived, look at how beautiful that is. Really beautiful. People say that if you travel, it's not going to fix your problems. Plans. I wouldn't have a problem there. I'd be happy. <laughs> look at how large the vineyards are. I mean, we in live in California. Century, we have one vineyards as well, but it's different. Road, which has become Ooh, one of the most recognized names in the wine That industry. looks good, Mademoiselle. So cool. Two thousand six. I was five, my guy. <laughs> I was four, my guy. Ooh, dang. Ooh, that's a pour right there. France is known for their exquisite wines from Bordeaux to Burgundies, but today we're pouring you a glass of 2006 Chateau de Beaucastle, Chateau Neuf de Pape from the Rhone region. This is literally Vin du Pape or the Pope's wine, and this bottle retails for like 130 to $150. <laughs> wow. 130 to 150 Wow. Pinkies up. Pinkies up. Smell? Mm, yes. Mm. Smells like wine. There's legs on it. Okay. Let's give a give a sniff to it. Wow, it smells really good. Get out of here, dude. That's amazing. She went down smooth. That's dangerous. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> that is uh, really good. We're going to have a great day. I will chug this right now. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the best wines I've probably what? tasted. This wine is as old as when I graduated college. Wow. This well, is you're really kind of smooth. Wow. Don't you hey, she said it. Feels good. Feels wow. It was waiting for me. You it's know? It's aged well. <laughs> well, to your American palates, what are we rating this and why? 10. 10. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Oh, 10. This, I mean, as far as beverages go, this is a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Like, if you like wine, and specifically red wine, you're in your bag on yeah. this. But also, if you don't like red wine, I feel like this is a great option because it's it's very easy to drink. True. I have a little <laughs> surprise for you two. I discovered somebody else who does not have refined taste buds, and I asked him to come join you for this whole oh. tasting. Joseph Beretta. Oh, Joe. Yeah, there he is. It's me, the Joe. <laughs> the Joe. The Joe. Ew. Reclet <laughs> cheese is extremely popular. At <gasps> all I've always wanted to. Try Swiss and I've never had this. I've fact, wanted to do it so bad. Can cheese be sexy? Yeah. Yes. All right. This is some sexy cheese. That's a sex That's food. A sexy. She's sexy. Potatoes. And She's so beautiful. Soon after, I had heated cheese, cheese like this in Miami. Based on a really fancy restaurant, and it was so good. Wow. Oh! Oh! You're all oh, no way you're gonna do it in front of us. A wintertime favorite, especially in the French and Swiss Alps. Raclette comes from the French word raclette, which means to scrape. It's a warm, melted cheese, usually served with potatoes, pickles, and other veg. <gasps> oh, I see it bubbling. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Wow. oh. Cheese me up, father. Whoa. What the fuck? Yo, Yo, that's Oh, it is so beautifully stinky. I'm sorry, but people don't understand how beautiful a good stinky cheese is. That is a good cheese. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Wow. All right, you know I hate pickles. You and hate I'm gonna do this for you. Oh, wow. You hate pickles? I hate pickles. Well, I'll do one with you. I'm right there with you. No, he's not gonna enjoy it. The pickles oh. are pickled. Very cheese strong. Pickle. The cheese helps though. The cheese just is But the is cheese good and the potato own. all day. Yeah, mm -hmm. like a natural mm -hmm. union there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheese, cheese and potatoes be swiping on one another. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a great match. I think that's worth however much money that was for a block of cheese. It's so funny because the smell is so strong, but yeah. the flavor is, is really nice. The taste and the smell do not match at all. It's so good. You expect it to be so much warmer right off of the scrape. Uh -huh. It like goes to room temperature yeah. so quick. Yeah. What are we rating this and why? A 10. A 10. 10 out of 10. You can't give everything a 10 out of 10, Brian. Okay, 9 out of 10. I would give this a 9 out of 10, but because of the presentation, 10 out of 10. I'm gonna give it an 8. I'll give it an 8. I'm yeah. 9 because of the smell. I'm saying the cheese is a 10. 
All right, well, we're ready for the next. Mm-mm. No. Not yet. Escargot is the French <gasps> word for kale. You can go to a fancy yes. French restaurant God. and you can ask for yeah. escargot <laughs> and they will bring you a plate full of snails. Did you we call it or did we call it? McDonald's. I love snails. And the snails. reason is yeah. McDonald's. You can't trust bad. this guy. Look no, and look listen to him. Have you ever had escargot before? Yes. What, I, Jamie? I don't think I have now that I think about it. I am so excited right now. Oh, yes. What was originally considered food for the poor, but over time became associated with luxury and sophistication, a gourmet plate of escargot or snails is a classic French delicacy that everyone should try at least once. I agree. Job, you go first. These are wild burgundy snails. Oh. Well, it looks like there's like an oil or something inside of them. Correct. Right? That's how they make it. I feel like that would go good on the bread, right? Cheers. 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 I hate it. I hate oh, it. Oh, but I love it. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Mm. It's so good. I'm it's tired. so good. Perfection. Oh my God. That's actually really freaking good. Mm-hmm. I can do it. Oh yeah, okay. I can do it with oh, yeah, the, the burgundy snail. snails. All it tastes like is garlic and butter. Mm -hmm. That is great. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Whoa. Mm. That's like a fancy mushroom. <laughs> mushroom. It is chewy, but it's soft enough that it kind of melts. I think the way they prepped it with the butter, it's like very melt in your mouth kind of feeling. If I was to equate it to something savory, Laffy Taffy. It has a chew to it, but it is a pleasant chew. Mm -hmm. The idea of it and the texture I still do not like. But I didn't gag though, so I'm happy. But mm -hmm. you know what? Mm. Give me some of your 2006 wine. Mm -hmm. oh. Stop that. No. Oh my god, the goblet. The goblet. Cheers. Cheers. Wait, it's snail. What are we rating this and why? 10, no, 20, 30, 50. Out of 10, what are we rating this and why? 10, 10 out of 10. It's pure happiness. That's 10, that's 10. It's a 10 out of 10. I give it like a seven, because it's not like something I could eat every day, but it's a nice little treat. I'll give it a solid nine. Whoa! Nice. It I was would... good. It was a lot better than I expected. I like garlic. Yeah. Six. Six. I'm gonna go five. It could have been way worse. Wow. Yeah. What are you rating the wine, Joe? Wine. Wine is wine. Whatever. Three. Okay, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to PVF Chef, your ultimate destination for tasty adventures. On this channel, we're gonna dive into the delicious world of people versus food recipes, tackle some of the craziest internet challenges out there, and hopefully ignite your kitchen creativity. Get ready to entertain, excite, and tantalize your taste buds like never before. Yeah, baby. Come check out PBS Chef. Go check it out. We have fun there. Yeah, we have so much fun. And here. Yeah. And everywhere. All, all the time. Do French people really eat foie gras? Okay, this one is a cliche. In France, foie gras is a classic. You need to you okay? No, because I've <laughs> never had this, but I've, Just put I, wa I want it so bad. Like that. What's foie gras? Frog. Chicken? Oh. Duh. Wrong. <laughs> in front, you'll be served cheese for dinner after the main course and before dessert. Yes. Cut a slice in each big cheese okay. to help your guests out. Oh, that's smart. And always serve it at home. Wow, look at that knife. A little fork at the end. Yeah. Oh my, my goodness. Stop. Let's go. We've curated quite the French charcuterie selection with a foie gras torchon, some duck rillettes, sausage sec, brie roquefort, and camembert. Mm -hmm. We flew the foie gras and the duck rillettes in for this episode. You flew it you in? You shut up. We Are you from where? From an ethically sourced farm. There's, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, I don't taste the liver. Almost like candy. Weird. Mm hmm. It's almost like it had a sweet taste to it. Whoa. It's just melt in your mouth. It kind of mm -hmm. just like a savory cream cheese. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That brie that you're eating was invented by monks more than 1200 years ago. It was a favorite of the great emperor Charlemagne. Like in Nepal? Oh my gosh. Charlemagne, Charlemagne the God? <laughs> He was around back then. Hey, <laughs> no, 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 no. This tastes like meat expensive jam. holidays. What? <laughs> no, in okay. the best way possible. It's meat jam. All right, what are we rating our charcuterie experience? An eight. Yeah, I'll give it an eight. I'll give the whole experience an eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll give it a nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is fire. I give overall a nine. Yes, a nine. Oh, I love shooting mm. 10 out of 10. I can bring this to any mm. party. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. It was so delightful, I had no words. All right, ready for the next one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Frog legs! Frog I heard it tastes legs. like chicken. <gasps> Ooh. Have you ever had frog legs? I have not. Frog oh. oh! Oh! Oh, okay. Why is she playing with them like that? <laughs> it yeah. makes it yeah. worse. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> perfect. They look like chicken. Yes. Frog legs are a traditional dish eaten for over a thousand years. They are part of the national diet of France. Roughly 4,000 tons of frog legs are consumed every year in France. That's a lot. Sorry. Come on, dude. What's it taste like? I know what you're wanting to ask. It doesn't taste like chicken, it tastes like frog. Surprisingly. Mm. Good. I always thought it would taste like a chewier chicken. It's like mm -hmm. chicken meets seafood. Mm hmm. It is like what? And a chicken had a baby in the best way possible. It's so good. It's so delicious. According to legend, authorities within the church ordered French monks who they felt had become too fat to adopt a meatless diet. What? what? That's crazy. But the hungry monks were clever. They found a loophole which would allow amphibians like frogs to be considered fish. Ha! Mm. Loophole. And their feasting continued. Oh. Soon the local peasants, who were poor but also wanted to follow religious protocol, started to add frog legs to their regular diet, and that's how it took off. Wow. By the 1600s, frog legs were one of the most fashionable meals in the country and served at restaurants all over Paris. That was crazy, though. What are we rating this and why? Uh, I would give it like a five. It looks good. Like, it's like chicken wings to me. Like, they're like, they're good. Yeah, I like them. I'm sorry, it's another 10 out of 10. They're <laughs> so good. I love frog legs. Five. Eight. Maybe I'm hungry. It's like a six. But it's a solid it's a eight. Oh, so I'm saying eight. Nine. I'm a little shocked it doesn't taste as much like chicken as I expected. Mm -hmm. It's not that, yeah, like, I feel, it's just so chewy. Yeah. I always get so mad when people criticize steak tartare with open and oh, Give it to me, I give it to me, wait. Bit, but I oh, I love steak tartare. Tartar. 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 Oh, I love tartare. Tartar. Tartar. That's beef, it's soft, yeah? Fresh, oh, yeah. Of yeah. And <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. Food at McDonald's. But you have to specifically get it done right. It's raw, right? It's tartare. Tartare. Raw meat. I will, I will. Click the link. I'm Maybe. coming. I love tartar. Yeah. Oh, oh my raw. God. <gasps> A French classic. Steak tartare is synonymous with elegant French cuisine. Oh. Super thick. What does tartare mean? Raw. Raw. Raw raw. Raw raw. Raw raw. Raw raw. raw, raw. raw, raw. It's good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm. It's it very is. soft. Um, melts in your mouth. Kind of meat. <laughs> it tastes raw, like but it's still good. Some mustard, though. Yeah, mustard in there. It's good. A cold burger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, dude. Like Relax. An uncooked cold burger. <laughs> cold burger. Oh, 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 that's nice. It is like sushi, but with beef flavor. In the worst way possible, it's the best way of eating a raw hamburger. What are we rating this and why? Uh, give it a seven. Seven. I feel like a six. Give it a seven. Seven. Yeah. I'll give it a six. It's a ten. It's a ten. This is definitely a ten. Like, it shocked me at how mm -hmm. good this was. I'm so gonna give a, this one a ten out of ten. It's a ten. Thank you. Yeah. When I think of this, I think of just like the life that I want. Okay, I just went shopping in Paris and um, I did not get one thing. I did not get two things. I did not get three things. I got uh, seven things, okay. and those seven things happened like to be uh, seven different kinds of fish. Okay. Wait, so anyways, what? That's I thought this was something else. Paris hole. Oh. So, Love um, fish. Hey, this is your little yeah, anchovy. That's my shopping <laughs> for the entire week. Oh, are those sardines? Okay. Anchovies? Oh. Luxury tin fish from all over Europe have become quite the hot commodity as of late, but the flavored sardines are quite the specialty from France. We have two varieties, sardines with espelette pepper and EVOO, and sardines with an olive tapenade served with a couchement and fresh bread. I don't like fish. You don't like fish? No. Cheers. Oh, oh, it's so good. It's good, it reminds me of canned tuna, actually, more than I thought it would. Oh my God. I really enjoyed that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Tastes like fish. <laughs> <laughs> she tastes so fresh, so pure, so... I don't even know the words. Give me better adjectives. So good. 
That is so good. Whoa. It's a different and really nice way to eat the fish. That one is really that good. One. Oh, that one? It yeah. is like, it's very, like, it's rich. Yeah. It is rich. So, like, if you like the taste of fish, it does. It melts, it's buttery, like, the texture is great. Wow. <laughs> it's just, I don't, like, the essence of fish, I just, mm -hmm. I give this an eight. I would eat this constantly. This is so good. I would say an eight. Right? Actually, seven. I'd probably rate it a five. Because again, I don't really like fish, so it's unfair for me to say I'm going to reach for this every day, but it's way better than I thought it would be. It's a 10 out of 10. I love it. A 10. Yeah. That oh, was wow. really good. I'm going to give it a solid 8. Nice. Like a mm. 1. No, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a 5. It's fine. If you, if you were like, you have to eat fish, Joe, I'd be like, I can do this one. Say oh, this. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? I like both of those. This guy makes oh, anything oh, sound good. I forgot there's food involved. <laughs> Macaron. Are we getting all of that? Macaron. That's what I thought the last Macaron. one was. <gasps> Dog, what? what? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. We are cooking with gasolina. One of LA's best patisseries, Artelise. We've got a selection of some of the best French pastries you could ever try. Saint Henri cake, buttery cannelle, and the classic macaron. Ah, yeah! Oh my She's god. She's so pretty. So pretty. Mm. Oh yeah, no. that was so good. That oh, was yeah, so yeah. good. That was the best one. This is so this good. Is so Better. good. Right? So good. <laughs> Canelé are small pastries flavored with rum and vanilla hmm. with a caramelized crust. It's a specialty of Bordeaux. You know, when you hit, like, it's like levels. Like you, it's like you unlock a new thing and then the aftertaste is good. I feel healthy for eating this. Ooh, baby! Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Everything else was worth it! Oh my God, Nicole. I think that's the best thing I put in my mouth ever. I appreciate you so much for putting me in this episode. <laughs> but at the same time, the the sadness that I have for how am I supposed to eat desserts after this? <laughs> how am I supposed to live my life here when I know that this is waiting for me in Europe? Mm. Oh. oh. Wow. Simply delicious. Let me get some of this. It kind of gives me like fancier bread pudding vibes. Mm. This I'm really excited about this. Mm -hmm. ah, You've outdone ah. yourself on this one. The bottom reminds me of the combination of a croissant, but the top of like a creme brulee. Mm. What are we rating this and why? No notes on this. Ten. Perfect. <laughs> Perfection. That was ten. really good. Ten. ten. It's a ten. That's a ten point one. <laughs> This is a 10 out of 10. This yeah, is a 10, 10 out of 10. 10. Bang, bang. <laughs> so good. Not surprisingly, the dessert was everyone's favorite. Oh, that wow. makes sense. Yep, yep. yep. solid. That tracks. That's With right. the raclette, I think, coming in at second. Mm, okay, well, yeah. there we go. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yes. yes. Thank you. Yes. Try Escargo. You actually might like it. I need to go to more French restaurants. Yeah. Act actually, yes. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this French food episode. Let us know what you thought in the comments below if you agreed with those ratings or not so much. And what else we should try next time? If you said this was bad in the comments, I will come for you. This is delicious. This is your first raclette. Oh, uh -huh. it's good. <laughs> it's so good, Nicole. Thank you so much. Wow, the punishment is wide cheese. Bye. Nicole, I love you. Oh.